we've been asked to calculate or work out even which of these four bulbs is operating at its normal brightness. Normal brightness would imply that the voltage across each bulb would be equal to its specified operating voltage. And in order to find these voltages, we're going to need to know the resistances of the bulbs. So that's what this question really is all about. So we can use the given information of power and operating voltage and the formula power is V squared over R. Rearranged to give us R is V squared over P. Looking at bulb A, this gives us a voltage squared of 6 squared over 6 for the power, which gives us a resistance for bulb A and C of 6 ohms. Similarly for bulb B, we will get that the resistance is going to be equal to the voltage across it squared, which is 3.5 over the power of 4.1, which comes out very close to 3. So it's a good idea, I find, to just pop these values into our table there. Now that we have these values of the operating voltages for these bulbs, i.e. their ideal operating voltages, I find it's useful to redraw the circuit with resistors instead of bulbs. This time we can clearly see that we now have two identical loops, as it were, or paths in parallel for our current to go down. That's say two loops, each with a 6 ohm and a 3 ohm resistor in. Now we know that voltage across resistors shares itself out in proportion to the value of those resistors when they are in a series circuit. So if we take, say, the bottom branch, then we can see that we have 9 volts shared out across 9 ohms and therefore the 6 ohm resistor will have 6 volts across it and the 3 ohm resistor will have 3 volts across it. And of course the same is true for the top loop as well. So A and C have 6 volts across them and need 6 volts so they're normal. B and D need 3.5 volts but only have 3 volts and so B and D are dim. In this circuit, we have added an additional bulb labelled E between the first, the top, and the lower of the two loops. It's an identical bulb to A and C. And what effect does this have on the circuit? Well, the trick here is to realise that we have a lot of symmetry going on. Thus, the two bulbs linked in blue are identical, and everything about them is identical, including the current through and the voltage across to the ones in red. This means that whatever the potential difference is here, Will be identical to the potential difference here. Thus there is no potential difference across our new bulb, bulb E. This in turn means that there is no current through it and if there is no current through bulb E it has absolutely no effect on the circuit. So A, B, C and D are exactly as they were before and bulb E is off. In this last part then we have a situation where bulb B actually breaks. Redrawing this with a resistor network, this is the equivalent of removing the 3 ohm completely. We now find we have a simple resistor network with four resistors. If we can simplify this down to one single resistor, then we can easily calculate the total current coming out of the 9 volt battery. First thing to notice then is that we actually have two 6 ohm resistors in series, so we can easily add those up to make a 12 ohm. Next you'll see that what we have now is a 12 ohm and a 6 ohm resistor in parallel and then that parallel combination connected to the 3 ohm. So we need to deal with the parallel combination and of course that's a job for the 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 etc formula. So I'll leave you to plug in the values to check out my calculation. But when you do do that you see that the combination is replaced with a 4 ohm. Of course if you have a 4 and a 3 in series you can replace them with 1 7 ohm. The upshot of all this is then, is that our complex looking network can simply be replaced with one 7 ohm resistor. Next we have to compare the current in the circuit without the broken bulb, and this is the resistor network to represent that. You might remember that no current flows through the 6 ohm, so we can just ignore it, which leaves us with two loops, each with a 6 ohm and a 3 ohm in series, making two 9 ohm resistors in parallel. So reach again for the 1 over RT formula and you'll see that this simplifies down to one 4.5 ohm resistor. So summing up this question then, the circuit with the broken bulb on the left could be replaced by one 7 ohm resistor. 
whereas the circuit on the right without any breaks in it would be replaced by one four and a half ohm resistor therefore you can see that the breaking of the bulb has caused the current to drop because the resistance actually goes up now you could calculate i think for this question you could calculate the actual current in the overall circuit just by using v equals ir and the fact that it's a nine volt battery and a seven ohm resistor in one and a four and a half ohm resistor in the other probably be a good idea to just do those numbers but you know what i've had enough and i want my tea